This weekend, the Ohio State Buckeyes hosted fellow Big Ten Conference team, the Wisconsin Badgers, on Friday night at the Schottenstein. The Buckeyes defeated Wisconsin after three periods, 4-0, after an aggressive and collective effort. They set the tone after this win for their rematch Saturday night. Ohio State's first goal came in the first period after a strong slap shot from Philadelphia Flyers prospect number 9, Tanner Lazinski. Ohio State's second goal came shortly after in the first period from Brendan Kearney. After the game, Kearney reflected on the making of this goal. Yeah, uh, we kind of just had a, a play um, in place, and the puck was coming to the net. I saw Nolsey didn't get uh, quite all of it, so I just tried to get a stick on it while I was going to the net and, you know, keep things simple and get it off his pads. And, you know, a lot of times when you're putting things on net, you get a bounce like that. A Wisconsin penalty in the second period helped Ohio State add a third goal to the board. Senior and captain Mason Yopst was able to finish the power play with help from Lazinski and Gustav Westland. Ohio State's final point of the night came halfway through the third period. Brennan Kearney tallied his second goal of the game with an assist from Sam McCormick. Toronto Maple Leafs prospect Dakota Joshua served a questionable charging penalty on Friday night, but the Buckeyes were still able to keep Wisconsin scoreless. A huge part of this thanks to goalie Sean Romeo, who put up his third shutout in a row. After the game, Romeo touched on his recent success. Uh, I feel good trying to think about you know the three in a row. Just take it one game at a time. Um, just goes to show how great our defense is playing in front of us. Though I think we took a, another big strike tonight. We still have room to improve. A win always feels good, but this was a special win for Ohio State's head coach. Steve Rolick would earn his 100th Buckeye win in the 4-0 defeat. Uh, this is ever a one-guy show. Uh, all the players that have been here, the alumni, and, and obviously the staff that have been fortunate enough to be around, uh, that means most to me. I think the game got a little sloppy at times, certainly, uh, you know, we, we shot ourselves in the foot a few times out there the way we played, but our guys aren't thinking about shutouts, they're thinking about trying to get better and playing good, solid defense and doing the best we can, and we just want to score one more goal on the other team. I mean, fortunately, we've been on, you know, a little bit of a roll defensively, but to me, at the end of the day, we just we just want to keep getting better and being a defensive team like that, being five-man connected, helping our goaltenders out, that's the game.